Hey everybody, I'm Glenn. And I'm Xander. And together we are Fun King 3D. And tonight we want to talk to you about about frogs. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so I don't know if you guys caught the uh, Friday night 3D printing channel hangout uh, last Friday, which would have been uh, July 14th. Uh, it would have been last Friday from today. Um, and you're actually watching this video later than today um, because, well, there's something that we have to do with the frogs. Um, why do I only have five frogs? We're just trying to get away. So anyway, during the, uh, during the hangout, the topic came up of PLA and heat resistance. Um, one of the other members, Vicki, had mentioned that she had some, some butterflies outside that the edges had curled. And I was curious to know if thickness affected that. So I decided as my, my, my brain was thinking, you know, my brain gears were turning, that um, if we were to conduct an experiment and put some PLA outside and see how it holds up. So we live in Florida, that's, that's no secret. Um, and if you don't know it, it's hot here. It's really hot here. And so, and our sun is pretty intense and it's, it's the middle of summer right now, obviously. So, um, we decided that we're going to try this. And what I did was I printed out these, these six magnificent little tree frogs here that I did get off of Thingiverse. And I will, I will put a link to this frog down in the, down in the comments or down in the description and give credit to the, to the person who designed this lovely little tree frog. And these guys have all been named. One is named North. One is named South. One is named East. One is named West. One is named Direct. And the other one is named Shade. Why do you suppose that is? That one goes in the shade. Right. So we got one guy. That's north. He's going to go on the north side of our house. Our house is south-facing. So he will go on the north side. Um, which I'm not sure where we're going to put him. We're going to put him up, up close to the house. The, the northeast, southwest guys. So he might actually be in the shade all the time. Um, maybe, maybe in the sun during the hottest part of the day but uh south south will be um south will likely be in the sh in the sun the whole time um got shade over here west west will pick up the sun in the morning um it'll be cooler ambient temperature wise but uh, as that sun breaks it's going to start cooking them and uh, here's direct he's just going to be in the sun I was going to say 24-7, but what would be wrong with that statement? Well, probably not by that. Well, the sun's not out 24-7. It's only out during the daytime. So this guy will be out as long as the sun is shining here in Florida. And then east. And east is going to... Uh, no, I got that wrong. West. East is going to be the guy that gets the sun in the morning. Uh, west is going to get the afternoon sun, which I think is going to, is going to be pretty detrimental to him because it's already hot outside and then that sun comes beating in on him. So I'm gonna make sure they're all sitting on a piece of wood so that they don't get any, any reflected heat, uh, radiated heat out of like concrete or metal or whatever. So I'll be sitting on a piece of wood somewhere. And um, the guy who sits in the shade will just be on my back porch. It'll be outside in the heat, but out of direct sunlight. Um, and the direct sunlight guy is gonna be in the direct sunlight. So. That's it. That's our six frogs. And um, through some movie magic right now, can we do the Scooby-Doo thing? <laughs> no? All right. So when we come right back from this, uh, it will have been at least a week. And we'll have all the frogs back in. Hopefully there was some, some results. Because if we put these guys outside for a week and we come back in, they look just like this. We could have just faked the video and done it all right now. I know, right? All right, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in a week. All right, everybody. So 
Yeah, I know we just said, see you in a week. Well, it's actually multiple months later. <laughs> it is, uh, today is uh, September 30th, 2017. Uh, so uh, we started this uh, way back in July, but I guess a little pre preface this is in, is in order. Uh, we were gonna leave the frogs outside for a week. A week came and went and uh, we weren't happy with the results. And so we actually left the frogs outside for the entire month of August. Uh, and then it, we were too lazy to go get them. Well, no, we took them in at the end of August. Oh, yeah. So it was, uh, it was, it was a month. They were outside for a month. Um, and I think that uh, I would have left them out even longer, but being that we had hurricanes and things coming, uh, yeah, it was a good idea for them to not be out there anymore. Um, but I'd have to say the results are a little inconclusive. So There's only like a little change. I don't think there's any change at all, actually. So, let's... Um, I, have to, I have to put on my Superman glasses if you're going to stick them up that close to my face. Little change on the head. I don't see it. I think that's just the way it's printed. Oh. Uh, nope. I think that's uh, the way it's printed. So let's uh, let's hop over here to the detail camera, and I I may have to uh, I may have to monkey with the focus a little bit. So, uh, phew, I sort of do. These guys are so fast. So yeah. All right. So again, all right. This guy was the guy that was on the east side of our house. So. He got the morning sun. Now, every one of these was put outside on a block of wood. They were not setting on metal or, or you know, something black to uh, draw the sun in more, whatever. So, draw I just said draw the sun. Draw <laughs> the sun in more. Um, so, he, he had, this guy, had the morning sun, which means that we were coming out of the cool nighttime and... The sun only baked him in the morning, and then he was in the shade from about oh one thirty in the afternoon. Um, this guy was on the south side of our house, which uh, our house is southern facing, and he was pretty much he was pretty much in the sun the whole time, other than when the shadow came across where the columns are of our front porch. And and I know it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell. I may have to do some high res photography on this. Uh, this was West Side, so he was outside in the heat of the day all day and then got the evening sun. But in fairness, because of the trees across the street, the side of our house does eventually become shaded. Um, but he would have been he would have been in the sun for probably six hours a day. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. Xander was talking about this, but I think that's just artifacting from the printing. Um, keeping in mind that none of these are even remotely faded. And we're going to touch on that in just, just a moment. Yeah, they all have artifacting around the eyes. That's just the way the print was. So this was the north guy, uh, which is the back of our house, which is actually um, shaded a lot. It's, it's uh, the middle of the day he got some sun, but... Um, this guy next. Um, this is Mr. Shade. Mr. Shade was outside, but was up under my porch, uh, on top of my door frame. So he was out of the sun 100% of the time. He was in the heat, but not in the sun. We're going to set him here just for a minute because that brings us to this guy right here. And this little guy's name is... Mr. Direct, because he was in the sun the whole time that the sun was out. Uh, sun up to sundown, he was in the sun. He was out in the middle of our property, uh, sitting on a piece of wood. And um, so here's really what I want you guys to understand. If I, if I was to take these out of the frame and mix them up and bring them back in, can you tell me? Which one is sun and which one is shade? 
I, I can't. I can't. I can't. No. I, I can't tell you. And there you go, direct and shade. So no, no slide of hand there, you know. So and I'm just kind of moving around to get different lighting on them, so you can see. So after all of that, here's my here's my conclusion. One, PLA holds up fine in the Florida sun. Yeah. Now we have to try PETG. Uh two. AIO Robotics PLA holds up fine in the Florida sun. So here's here's going to be the next step to this. There will be a part two to this video. There is? Wait, there's more. Cool. If you call right now, um, if, you, if you guys want to see a specific brand of filament um, tested in this, um, leave a comment down below and we'll send you our mailing address and you can send us a roll. No. No. <laughs> if no. Send no. us a roll. Send us a roll. <laughs> you put that idea in my head. Let's do it. I'm <laughs> only kidding. Um, we have different, we have some different filaments and stuff that have been in the maker box. Maker box. Um, as well as a, a, a plethora of different filaments. Um, for example, we have this roll of Robo PLA that was sent to us um, by Ryan at uh, Technology Nerd 18. So we can try this. You know, like we have some different different filaments because, to be honest with you, I'm a big fan of AIO Robotics filament, and this is one of the reasons why. Um, I mean, more than 30 days in direct Florida sunlight, uh, and and there's no fading. It it blows my mind. There's no curling on the toes or anything. Um, I know if I were to put this in the car, the car gets to be a lot hotter. But, I mean, for there not to be any fade, no, nothing we own that's outside isn't faded in this Florida sun. So, I, I guess there might even be a third follow-up because here's what I'm proposing. We're going to print this same model, the same little frog, which is uh, an adorable little print. And uh, it did come off a thing of her, so I will make sure that there's a link in the description for it so credit goes to the creator um but we're going to print some more of these in different plas and i'm just going to put them all in the direct sunlight uh, we're going to leave them outside now we're coming into our winter um <laughs> yeah um but uh we're going to get that done very very soon so that they will spend probably the month of october outside which it is still blistering hot here in Florida for the whole month of October. Um, so we will get we will get a bunch of those outside so that we can see and then obviously we won't be able to compare them to each other because the colors will be different but we'll be able to compare them to the original roll and in fact I will one up that and I will print two of every frog uh, one as a control and one as the test subject and we will get those back outside. Now my third my third third follow-up to this is I am going to take Mr. Direct here and I'm going to put Mr. Direct back outside. I'm going to put a little glue on his belly and uh, I'm going to glue him down so that no matter what happens with our weather, he doesn't go anywhere. Like glue is going to help. Oh yeah. All right. I'll drill a hole through him and I'll nail him to the fence post. Okay. So he will be outside for one year. I'm just gonna leave them outside for a year. So we will have a follow-up on this if I remember he's even there a year from now. Is that crazy? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Well, you gotta have scientific stuff. I'm done. Uh, well, I guess uh, Fun King just became a one-man show. But uh, seriously, so that way we will get a, a good sample test of um, many different PLAs to see how they react as far as fading. Um, because in my mind, it just, I know AIO Robotics is good filament. It's, it's always done me well. And so I have to say that maybe that's why they didn't fade. You know, it's not a overall PLA thing, but it is a specifically this PLA thing. So we will get a couple different samples out there and I'm sure color is going to matter too. Um, I will make sure I print in, you know, black and blue and gray and, you know, as many colors as we can come up with. 
So um, if you do want to send us a sample, Please I will. Do. I will put, you know, like, I mean, if you have a, if you have a sample roll or you want to string us out a few meters or whatever of, of something that you have, um, I can't remember how many meters this frog takes, but I will look that up and that'll be down in the description as well. Um, you will be more than welcome to send us a, a sample of whatever filament that you want to have tested. Um, and, uh, we'll give you credit. We'll give you credit in the final video. Um, anything else, anything that you want to try with this? I, I can I can throw one you know what I'm gonna do that I have a car here on my property that uh, it doesn't belong to me but it's broken and and it just won't seem to go away so I will throw one of those inside that car too so that we can have a little heat like a little massive heat just to see what happens to this particular model in that kind of heat um, and uh, and yeah that'll be fun so so that's gonna be the end of this video so as of right now the conclusion is nothing happened it's just a terrible science experiment to have nothing happen, but it's great filament. And uh, so version two of this will come, and uh, it'll probably it'll probably be sometime in November before that's released, because we want to run through um, the whole month of October outside, which means I got to get to print, and um, and we're gonna see what happens. So so for anybody that's looking at uh, printing some PLA stuff and putting it outside. I think you're fine, uh, unless you live on the sun. Probably wouldn't make it there. So, all right, that's the end of this. Uh, we 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 thank you for tuning in. It was uh, it was it was pretty awesome. I wish that we could say, oh well, you know, this guy rolled up his edges, and but uh, we can't. So you want a good outdoor PLA, AIO Robotics. So, and other than that, we'll see you in part two. As always, print on. So, we decided that this project needed to wait. After thinking about it with my brain, I decided it was best to have time for people to suggest or send filaments. Plus, to be fair, it should be tested again in August. To be continued next year.